Hello everyone, welcome slash welcome back to my channel in which we talk about books. Today what I am planning to do is I'm gonna sort you through my TBR for September. For those of you who don't know, a TBR is a to be read pile and it's just books that I want to read in September. I have a lot of books, a lot of which I have not read. I literally have such a small TBR pile purely because last month I didn't read as many books as I wanted to. I didn't really have the time as well. Like September is a really busy time. I'm graduating, woo. Uh, so it's just a bit of a busy month. So it's gonna be a bit of a small TBR. Some of the books in here, I'm planning to read for longer than a month as well, but I'll get into that when I get into it. But for now, let's just dive right in and have a look at the books I want to read in September. Whoosh. Ugh. Okay, so the first book that I am planning on reading or starting to read in September is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So this has been on my TBR for ages. One of my friends, Nori, has been asking me to read it for ages. And finally, I'm going to. What I'm ending up doing with this is I'm doing a buddy read with one of my managers at work. So we're going to read like a couple of chapters a day. We both have different reading paces so we're gonna do maybe like two or three chapters a day i know they're quite short chapters from what i've seen so that's kind of a plan this is going to be like an ongoing little project which will be super fun really nice i'm going to be reading it with someone i work with as well which is so cute so we're doing that um but i believe the basic premise of this is that there is a traveling magical night circus and that's all i know ha 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 i know there's magic i know there's circus don't know anything else about it uh but i'm really excited to See what it's about. The next book that I really want to get around to reading this month is Modern Times by Kathy Sweeney. I believe it is a short collection of like quote unquote modern love stories. It seems very abstract, very kind of like quirky. You know what I mean? So I'm really excited. I mean, I've already started it. I'm on page, well, I say started it. I'm on page six, so not really. So I'm just gonna actually de-dog ear it and start from the beginning. This is a really interesting premise. Like the back just kind of really intrigued me. Let me read the back. It says, there once was a woman who loved her husband's cock so much that she began taking it to work in her lunchbox. There once was a man who made films without a camera which transfixed his estranged daughter. There once was a couple who, administ who administered electric shocks to each other to be reminded of what love is. And there once was a world where you wake up one day and notice that one by one people are turning blue. I don't know, it just kind of hooked me. What was that? I'm very intrigued. I want to know more. I want to read this book. So that's the plan. The next book that I want to read is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. So this is a book that I've seen circulating quite a lot on booktube recently. Everybody is proper hyping it up and it just seems like a really cute story. It's kind of like about time traveling back to a certain point in your life. You can't really change anything or do anything about it, but you can revisit things and you are only there for the, until the coffee gets cold, like you need to be back in this little cafe. And when your coffee is cold, then you get transported back into the present. I believe. I really don't know too much about it. I think all of that could be incorrect. So we'll see. But I've been meaning to read this for ages. I'm really into translated fiction at the moment, especially Japanese translated fiction for some reason. I think they are amazing and I'm really excited. Also, what a beautiful book anyway. It just, yum, you know? The next book that I want to read is Anna Glenn Denning's book, An Experiment in Leisure. It kind of feels like a modern slice of life. It is a literary fiction. I really don't know what it's to do with. I never know what a lot of the books that I have have to do with, but this is the back. So it's the eve of Brexit and Grace is supposed to have what she wants. She swapped West Yorkshire for North London, her accent carefully edited, her friends drink beer out of artful tins. She makes flat whites with people with berets. She's found a psychoanalyst, but this fantasy of metropolitan cool is turning out to be more costly than she thought. And Grace faces complicated crises of identity, class, sexuality, and geography. Can she remember how to love? Can she find a way home? Is this relatable? Hashtag yes. The back just really enticed me. Yeah, I just really wanted to read about it. I think it's definitely something different compared to what I usually read as well. So I'm trying to expand my reading taste. And I feel like this is the one to do it. I'm very excited to jump in. What was that? The last book that I'm going to be reading this month is The Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Chijimura. This is the Pocket Pages Book Club book of the month. 
led by like Alison Pages, who's here on YouTube. And yeah, I'm really excited to read about this one. I think the art is gorgeous. A lot of people hype this book up as well. Literally have no idea what it's about, but very excited. There's a couple of other books that I am currently reading that I'm working my way through. So I'm currently reading The Vagina Monologues and also Young Mungo. So they're kind of like books that I have on the go. I don't think I'm going to get them done this month. I think the vagina monologues I will, uh, but Young Mungo definitely not. It's very heavy and I'm just taking a break. I want to read more lighthearted things, I think, at the moment. Which is funny, looking at <laughs> looking at my uh, TBR this month. So I think I might also throw in a cheeky romance. I've not read a romance in a while. Let's do that right now. Okay. I'm gonna try and read Queenie by Candice Carty Williams. I've had this for ages. I tried reading it literally like last year. So I think I really want to reread it. I've also just finished Conversations on Love by Natasha Lund and there's an interview with Candice Carty Williams in there as well. So I feel like it'd be a nice continuation, but that's the plan. I've added this one in just in case I get around to reading all of these books. I mean, when I look at the actual physical size of the majority of them, like these three are quite short. But yeah, that's kind of it. They're the books that I'm planning on reading in September. I would really like to hear any recommendations you've got that come under like thriller or mystery. Maybe more like psychological thrillers slash horrors. I've recently just tried reading Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I mentioned it in my previous video, so I'll leave a link for that down below. But I had to DNF it because I really just couldn't get on board with it. I didn't really like the characters, the I don't really like the trope or the premise. So if you know of one, which is kind of slightly different, but still in that genre, I would really love to hear any recommendations because I don't want to give up on the genre. I want to like it, but I just don't. But yeah, that's kind of everything. Yum. So I'm going to wrap it up now. Uh, tee -hee. I'm so bad at TBRs because I never know what the book's are about when I come to talk about them and also I'm like I don't want to spoil the funsies of it so I never google it just for these videos either so sorry if it's a little bit chaotic but mm, you have to deal with it but yeah that's everything if you've made it this far I really appreciate it thank you for sticking around and I shall see you in the next one okay sick day <laughs>